So, you want to add dynamic burns to your VRChat avatar very fast, but it takes you so long, you know, you got to add all the dynamic burns, it takes maybe around an hour. Well, look no further, because I'm going to show you exactly how you can add every single dynamic burn you'll ever need onto your VRChat avatar with just a couple of clicks. Ah, so, I'm going to go find my model. Here it is here. Pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Okay, if we uh, play the Unity editor, let's uh, let's see. Yeah. For sure, for sure, no dynamic burns. That's a shame. Well, let's add component auto dynamic burns. That's a fancy name. Let's uh, fix. Let's set up. And uh, my model has a custom prefix. I'm gonna add that. Cool. We have some presets. Let's uh, let's add one for the hair. Uh, we'll get hair normal. Uh, okay, let's, uh, boobs, cool, cool, okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go and, uh, add the boobs normal, uh, load preset, uh, let's go, uh, for the butt, and, uh, let's load in a butt preset, uh, pretty easy so far, pretty easy, cool, cool, okay, we got the tail too now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and load in a preset for the tail, uh, we also have some ears, awesome, awesome, only one preset for the ears, but, uh, you can make your own. Awesome. Okay, now we have the colliders to worry about. Super easy. Hands don't really need to touch them. They they already uh, set up. Uh, the the head. Um, we might go for uh, for a zero point eight radius, and we'll, we'll go the same for the body and the hip. Cool. And that's pretty much it. Let's click update and let's play. Awesome. Awesome. Look at that. All the dynamic bones are it's there. Now, something cool about this plugin that uh, wasn't really there with the other plugin because the other one was really bulky at open windows. Uh, so, we can now have live editing in this plugin. So, if I want to change dampening uh, for the hair, uh, right now we can see it is kind of uh, jiggly, kind of terrible. If we update, uh, you can see we can now update while the game is playing. Oh, well, the Unity editor is playing. Uh, so, unfortunately, because of how Unity works, uh, if I close out of this, all these settings will be reverted. Simple way to do uh, to get around that is to right-click the plugin, copy component, let's now exit play mode, right-click the component, paste component values, and now let's update. Those values are now updated. Uh, now, maybe I want to save this preset. Uh, let's give it a name. Test, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, and we've got a zero there. We may as well keep the zero. Save the preset. Cool. We now have a new preset. Hair, test, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. You can now, say, you can now send that preset in the presets folder. Uh, you can send any of these presets uh, to anyone who owns the plugin. Uh, Unity might need a refresh because of uh, Unity things, but there it is. Awesome. Simple as that. Uh, just turned uh, an hour job into a uh, couple of minutes. Awesome. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll leave the Gumroad link in the description of the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.